Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at k-means clustering with scikit-learn and we're going to use a data set called iris and this is one of the sort of uh, preloaded data sets when you, uh, it's a module of scikit-learn called data sets and in there we can load iris, it's an inbuilt data set essentially, to practice on, that's why we have it. So uh, I'm going to load up my, uh, by the way I'm using Jupyter Notebooks on Azure and it's Python 3.6. Okay, so from scikit-learn.datasets import load iris. So this just actually gets us our data set there. Okay, so uh, that actually just uh, now I have the iris data set. Okay, so there's two parts to this. Okay, and the first part is the data, and this is the features essentially. So I'm just going to run that and let's have a look at that there. So essentially these are the four numeric variables. Okay. Now if you're familiar with this data set from other machine learning topics, like you might know that that is sepal length, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and so on. And if you are familiar with that further, you, what you might know is that, I'm just going to scroll down to the next thing, is that these correspond to species. Okay. So the species here are actually sort of listed as zeros, ones, and twos. I mean, that's the point of like machine learning. Uh, but uh, the raw data set, these were three different species of iris, uh, Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. I'm not quite sure which order is which, but these are, these are category, this is a categorical variable, essentially. Uh, zero is one type of um, iris, let's say Setosa. The net ones correspond to virginicas and two correspond to versicolors. So it's a label essentially. Okay, zero, one, two. Now, so what we're going to do is actually carry out k means uh, clustering analysis. Now, the, the idea of k means is that we actually pre specify the number of clusters. So from scikit-learn.cluster import k means. So essentially, uh, we're just, it's like a bit of machinery that we're taking off the shelf. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to specify three clusters. Now, this is just a sort of a thing, uh, a notion uh, that of k-means is that you get to pre-specify the number of clusters. Okay, so I'm going to specify three clusters here. Okay, but you know, partly just to actually see how well it works. But you could actually go and like specify two clusters or five clusters or whatever. Okay, so k means we specify the number of clusters. I better just keep up to date. There we go. Oops, you see, I've gone too far there. So run that one there and that one there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run this again, k means, and see what this looks like here. It essentially just gives us the object that we have in memory. And essentially, it, this just really tells us all of the other options that are there that we can set. Now, I think I have to set, obviously, I have to set the number of clusters equal to three. Well, I don't have, well, it, you know, it may, to make sense, it does, yeah. There's a couple of other things there, like tolerance and uh, so on, and random state and so on. Uh, that really is getting into a lot of detail that probably, I'm trying to keep this video short, basically, so I won't get into that much detail. So, essentially, what we've done is we've taken this bit of machinery off the shelf, so to speak, and configured it. And now we're going to use our training data, our features, in other words, which is iris.data, okay? And what we're gonna do here are, is just uh, take that off the shelf, and we're gonna input it into k-means, okay? I have it just lowercase here, k-means, and we're gonna fit uh, a model uh, using k-means, we're gonna fit a model using this training data. Okay, so the k-means algorithm is going to fit a model using this training data. Okay, dot fit. So this estimator that always has a dot fit, usually has a dot fit object, and quite often has a predict object or a label object. Anyway, so km model is the name of our model. So let's just run that there and see what comes out. Actually, km k-means model. There we go. Uh, same again, really, you know. Anyway, so our model is fitted, and we have a model, and we've made, based on our 150 items, 
uh, sorry, I wasn't clear, but in the Irish data set there is actually 150 cases, okay? So what we're going to do here is just sort of see what predictions were made, okay? Now, if you recall that there should be zeros, ones, and twos, about 50 zeros, 50 ones, 50 twos. What did the algorithm say? Okay. Well, seemingly matching up quite well, okay? Now we've got about 50 ones. Uh, quite a lot of zeros as well, so it's not coming in the order. That doesn't really matter, as long as they're all distinct from each other. Okay. And quite a lot of twos. But you notice that, um, you know, there's a couple of misclassifications, quite a few misclassifications knocking around. So that should, every, like, seeing as the data was in order, that should be a two, you know. Anyway, so, uh, as also what you might be able to do is get the k-means, the clusters, centers which is useful in general not not that i'm going to use it here but it's useful in general okay so this is our predictions essentially our predicted category according to our model but earlier on we actually did get the true outcomes there okay so uh, you see we have zeros ones and twos and then they have ones zeros and twos that doesn't really matter we, we just uh, they don't have to match up just like that just yet uh, so what we're going to do here is we are going to check our results so I'm just gonna get a quick cross tabulation using pandas okay so import pandas as PD get a cross tabulation of the targets and re the predictions okay or the true values and the predictions so there we go Um, that makes sense so far so this is the true values here so the zeros uh, get, l l 50 of them get labeled as one. Okay, seems okay. The ones, we have 48 of them get labeled as zero. Now again, they just get slightly transposed there. So that makes sense. And uh, like the, the predictions of ones cor should correspond to the uh, the real values of zero. So that's sort of 48 are correct. But uh, two are getting miscategorized as a category two. Now, you notice down here that we have 48, or sorry, uh, 14 and 36. So we get uh, 14 misclassifications of uh, uh, category two, okay? So there's 14 category two um, uh, iris types to get miscategorized as something else. Um, yeah, that's it really, so I'm gonna leave it there.